We're doing our external earth fault loop impedance test. For this, I've removed the main earthing conductor from the board. This is to eliminate the parallel earth paths. I've also switched the insulation off by the main switch in the board, just in case anything becomes live under fault conditions. While we have this removed, there would be no earth into it. We're going to clamp on to our earthing conductor, and in the top of the main switch, we're going to go onto the line conductor and we see a reading of 0.19 ohms. That is satisfactory because we have a TNCS earthing arrangement and the maximum ZE for that is 0 0.35 ohms. We're now carrying out our perspective fault current test. For this we put the main earthing conductor back in the board. This is because we now want to take into consideration the parallel earth paths. First of all we're going to check against the PFC against the main incoming fuse. It's rated at 60 amps, however we looked on the side, there is no braking capacity rating. However, we do know they range from 16 kiloamps to 33 kiloamps. We're going to take it from the lowest end, the worst case scenario. So that's what we're going to clamp onto our main earth bar. And into the top of the main switch, we're going to do our perspective earth fault current. 1.2 kA. We're now, we're going to, I've got to switch my meat around because we're going to do the perspective short circuit current which is between line and neutral. And for this we're going to go on to the top of the main switch. Five hundred and seven amps. So we take the worst case scenario for them which was the 1.2 kiloamps so that will be our PFC for the main incoming fuse.